to everyone who clicked on this video. My name is Taylor Regine. If you are new and if you are not, welcome back. All right, so of course, thank you to everyone who has been liking, commenting, sharing, vibing with me. I really, really appreciate you guys so, so much. Um, today was a requested video, or today's video, excuse me, was a requested video. It's more along the lines of how people view you. So this could be like your friends, close friends, family members, uh, but this is going to be how other people view you. So of course, I have three different piles in front of me. Pile number one is to your left and pile number three is to your right. Of course, I'm going to have all of the timestamps linked in the description box down below for you guys as usual. And I'll go ahead and see you at your pile. Hello to everyone who has chosen pile number one. This is going to be your reading on how people feel about you, how your friends feel about you, family, whoever you happen to have on your mind. So you guys chose this white stone here. I'm gonna pop that over here and we'll go ahead and we will get started. How do these people view those who chose pile number one? People view you pile number one as some sort of helping hand, a leader, especially when people are having a hard time in their lives. You're someone who they can talk to and they can confide in when they really don't have anyone else to talk to or uh, don't have anywhere else to go. But when these people talk to you, it's not that they are desperate and you are their last resort because no one else answered the phone. I feel like when people com communicate with you, you give helpful advice here, especially for people who are not confident, maybe having a hard time and going through obstacles in their life. And I definitely feel like it's because you have been through your own individual obstacles here. You guys are definitely on your spiritual journey. You could even be intuitive readers. You definitely don't have to be. But people look up to you as some sort of guide here, pile number one. How do people view those who chose my pile number one? I just heard no matter how far, I will always be here. So you are definitely like the foundation probably of your family. You could even be like the black sheep of the family, but like people look to you for, like I said, guidance and advice. Like it doesn't matter how far you are. You're not the type of person if your friend moves away, right? Let's say you have like a best friend or a cousin or just anybody who moves to like a different country or moves states away, that is not going to compromise the intensity of the connection that you have with this person. So you could even have people calling you from far away to get your advice. They see you with somebody very, very stable. They see you with somebody very loving. You are the type of person who can have a conversation with somebody who has different outlooks on life than you. And you would probably be like, just because we disagree doesn't mean that we necessarily have to hate each other or we can't be friends. I feel like you're the type of person to find common ground with any and everyone around you. You definitely follow your intuition and people hold you to some sort of high regard. Pile number one. Let's go ahead and jump in with some tarot cards. 
some people view those who chose tile number one. There are some people on the outside looking in that might be a little bit intimidated by your energy pile number one because I do see some side eyes, but that is definitely nothing to worry about. Of course, when you're carrying this type of light, um, it is going to trigger some people. How do people view those who chose my pile number one? I'm gonna flip this back over. How do people view my pile number one? How do their friends see them? All right, so we have 10 of wands in reverse. We have the king of wands. And then we have the king of pentacles in reverse bottom of the deck we have the five of swords all right so with the overall energy here with the five of swords this card is very interesting to me it seems like a bunch of kids are playing with swords that they just found or maybe they're not supposed to have and one of them gets cut and i'm being really drawn to this penguin over here and i feel like you're the penguin pile number one so whenever someone is hurting themselves or feels like they have any conflict in their life, I feel like you are the one to come and console them, to let them know that everything is going to be all right here. Especially with the 10 of wands in reverse, people really feel like they can unload all of their problems to you without being judged. People, you, you could even be very financially stable if you chose this pal and you could even like help people out in your family regardless if that is just with guidance or just with tangible things like money and you could carry a lot of weight. So when people call you and they put all of this weight onto you or their problems onto you, you can give them solid advice here, pile number one. We have the King of Wands. You could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You definitely don't have to be, but they are looking at you as some sort of leader here, right? And this is not a mermaid in this picture. This is a shark, right? So you're not for the bullshit either, all right? Even if someone comes to you, it's not to say that you're not gonna have compassion. You're definitely going to be a listening ear, but you are going to tell them what is necessary for elevation, what is necessary for growth. And it's because you have had your own obstacles here in the past with the King of Pentacles in reverse. You could also be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but you have not had an easy life. You could have struggled financially. You could have just struggled in general. So it seems like you have learned a lot and gained a lot of wisdom in order to be able to lead these people in the right direction. Pile number one. How beautiful is that? All right, how do other people view my pile number one? All right, we have fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Of course, is the heart chakra, right? It is glowing green, so your heart is open. You are very loving, very compassionate, and people see you as some sort of an angel here. Pile number one. How do people view my pile number one? All right, we have broken heart. So yeah, definitely people who know you, especially those personally, they know that you have been through some rough times here with broken heart, but your heart chakra has still stayed open here and you have taken those 
experiences pile number one and you have transmuted them to light and you have grown from them here and that is why people trust you we have rest and rejuvenation i'm really being drawn to the light in this person's hand you could definitely be a healer if you chose this pile but i get i feel like you give people a calming energy like when they talk to you you just make them feel like they can take a load off you make them feel calm and you make them feel at ease here pile number one how do people view my pile number one how do they feel about those who chose pile number one all right we have use your hands yo y'all reiki healers y'all energy workers y'all tarot readers y'all just use y'all creativity you are very very creative here and it's just like anything you touch low key you can make food pile number one and just invite somebody over for dinner and they know that you are gonna put all the love into that dish all of your good energy into whatever you do it's so authentic and it's so inspiring and look at this bottom of the deck we have make a vision board so you have a lot of people who look up to you here pile number one how do people feel about those who chose my pile number one? All right, we have abundance planning that wanted to pop out. And then we also have journal here. All right, so yeah, people feel like they can take notes from what you have been through. They can take notes on the advice that you give them, your experiences, because you are highly intuitive and whatever you're doing, pal number one, it seems to be working out for you. So you set a great example for people. With abundance planning here, like I said, y'all could have the bag here, pile number one. And because you could have grown up in poverty or lack, I think this is really important to you, just creating a stable foundation for yourself and not only for yourself, but your family and those who you care about. So people see you as someone who is always planning for the future, always thinking about the next step. And low key with this journal here, people could even think that you could write a book. Maybe you guys are writing a book, but they think that the knowledge that you have, because I, I always get drawn to the eye in this card, the intuition and the knowledge that you have is very, very sacred, very useful. All right, how do those feel about pile number one? How do people feel about them? All right, we have blessings. How beautiful is that? Pile number one. You are out here blessing people with your words of wisdom, with your energy, with your help. And the people around you really do feel like you are a blessing in their life. All right, and then we have trust. So people really do feel like they can trust you, pile number one. And bottom of the deck, of course, we have empowerment. Jesus, I'm low-key jealous of your friends. Like, how could I talk to pile number one? All right, you are a very beautiful individual here pile number one inside and out you guys got leadership skills okay if you don't own a business or you know if you're not into healing or therapy or just like leading people i would definitely look into that all right, but I'm gonna go ahead and end your reading here, pile number one. Thank you so much for letting me read for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Hello to everyone who has chosen pile number two. This is gonna be your reading on how other people view you, friends, family, whoever is on your mind. Uh, I'm gonna put your stone right here that you chose, and we'll go ahead and jump right into your reading for those who chose pile two. All right. Okay, pile number two. 
Uh, a lot of people feel like you are very, very dominant in what you want. Um, you guys have a really intense energy um, and that's not in a bad way. I just feel like people are kind of drawn to you, but they feel like you move fast, right? You could be like in and out uh, as fast as you showed up. So some people might feel like you're like non-committal or something like that. People feel like you are very uh, sexually attractive and um, <laughs> you got a lot of sex appeal going on, pile number two. But uh, a lot of people feel like you would just kind of leave them where they are. Okay, or maybe you are somebody who doesn't settle, especially if you're asking about like friends or family members. Uh, maybe you just are not settling until you meet the one who you know is worthy of you. Um, so people could just be like, man, when is pal number two gonna settle down? And you're just like, don't put your insecurities on me. Leave me alone, let me live my life. How do people feel about pile number two? You guys are very direct, very straightforward. You're gonna tell it like it is, regardless of who is there. <laughs> All right, so pile number two. Some people could think you're a little bit cocky here. Uh, some people could think that you have a big head, um, but you have this angelic aura about you like you walk like you're walking on clouds or something like wherever you walk into pile number two like I just feel like if, it, if this was a movie there would be like a red carpet like rolled out wherever you go so you know of course there's some people who could be like intimidated by that but pile number two gives me a lot of confident fire energy so people could view you as very very confident you kind of get what you want <laughs> all right how do those people view power number two yeah you got a lot of people who was who are looking at you a lot of people who are watching you here um and although you may have <laughs> yeah power number two could definitely have a really nice um physique really nice body here but um even if you have like flaws like let's say you have something that you don't like about yourself like you're gonna walk in the room like that shit does not exist you could be having a bad hair day and like pile number two would dare somebody to say something like <laughs> all right let's go ahead and get some more information on those who chose pile number two <laughs> This is like, I wish a bitch would type of energy. <laughs> All right, how do people view those who chose my pile number two? All right, so we have the high priestess. It is in reverse. We have the five of swords. How do people view pile number two? And then we have the nine of pentacles. We have the ace of cups. It is in reverse. All right. So yeah, you have a lot of people who are looking at you uh, more like romantically pile number two. Um, you have a lot of, all right, check this out. So people can't quite pinpoint like where your head at. Like you could, I don't know, I just get like some sort of like mysterious energy from you. Like um, you could definitely be into maybe like witchcraft or spirituality, especially with the high priest coming up, even in reverse. Like you could be a very intuitive person, but like people can't figure you out here. Like you're not gonna show everybody your cards. All right, and it leaves a lot of people and this five of swords energy like in this mental conflict to where um they can't quite put their finger on maybe like how you feel all right but with the nine of pentacles here you seem 
very independent, very, very stable. And you don't need anybody, pal number two. And you are completely content with being alone, being by yourself and you until you feel like there is somebody who is worthy. But you have this, like I said, really intense energy, especially with this nine of pentacles cards to me. You see how she's kind of like... Um, coming up out of this well and it's like you want to go get those pentacles and you know you see her and she's kind of pretty but it's like you also kind of scared because you don't know what she might do and it makes honestly it makes people want to come towards you here but with this ace of cups uh people uh could think that you are like a heartbreaker here but like i said it almost makes them interested and want to know more like you definitely pull people in and so it's like the people who are around you who know you very well think that you are very like a intellectual and down-to-earth person but there are a lot of people i don't know i'm just getting the sense that y'all are getting like observed somewhere so there are a lot of people who are like on the outside looking in and they just like they want to know more like they want to get to know pile number two all right let's go ahead see how people view my pile number two how do people view pile number two we have a door to personal healing and happiness so yeah you all about you pile number two you're just like I am worried about my own personal healing my own happiness like you know if you fit in to my you know puzzle here if you're a piece then you know you'll come in and if not like you you gotta go but it's not like it's not like you need anyone. <laughs> All right, how do those feel like, uh, or how do those feel about my pal number two? All right, we have a second chakra, Archangel Ariel. So this is what, the solar plexus chakra, I think, or the sacral chakra? The second chakra, give me one second, I'm gonna go look. Okay, so I'm back. It is the sacral chakra, so it's all about like, sexuality and prep pleasure and creativity so yeah y'all are definitely walking around here like some sort of goddess some sort of angel some sort of just like i'm getting real devil energy from you so like i said you draw a lot of people to you and it's not in a negative way not saying that you're toxic or anything but it's just like you're so mysterious like you are like you're giving me like siren energy, right? You just come up out of the water and you start singing and you draw people to you. Not that you're gonna shipwreck them or anything, but it's just like people wanna get involved, but like they low key scared you're gonna break their heart. <laughs> All right, so we have seven chakra, Archangel Uriel. So that is the crown chakra. So a lot of people could just feel like you are in tune with your higher self. Um, you have a lot of self-love here, pal number two, a lot of confidence. Like people just see you as some sort of like sexy, majestic, like angel. All right, how do other people view those who chose pile number two? How do other people view those who chose the pile two? All right, we have forgiveness. And then we have strength. Bottom of the deck, we have commitment. You see that? Like people, like you have a lot of people who wanna come and really commit to you, really get to know you. With forgiveness coming out here, I feel like you don't really let anything bother you. You could have even been um one of those other piles in one of my previous video if you you'll know which one i'm talking about because i said that y'all are real like unbothered it's because you're strong like you don't let anybody penetrate your aura like regardless of what's going on around you y'all got like a poker face like y'all would never ever let anybody know it here like you don't take anything personally because you're really all into yourself you are all into your own personal values and your own personal goals. So you might not even have time for relationships right now. You might not even be checking for anybody um, if you're not already in a relationship, but you, you know, you, you just got pal number two shit going on. But with forgiveness here, I feel like 
those who know you personally and understand you know that you have a very very compassionate and loving side and you are a very very strong person you definitely could be a fire sign if you chose this pile with strength coming through but like see and then we got career right underneath like you're committed to like your own prosperity but those who get close to you you definitely have a genuine bond and commitment with them here pile number two How do those view power number two? How do people view power number two? All right, and then we have take a walk. How do people view pile number two? And then we have meditate. See, yeah, y'all chill. Y'all want some other shit here, pile number two. We got sound healing at the bottom of the deck. Something about you, I'm telling you, it just draws people in. Your voice, your look, your eyes. And, but it's just like you, you, I wouldn't even say have a wall up. It's just some sort of boundary that you set with people so they can't get super close to you right unless they are those who you have a commitment with and you want to but would take a walk here like people just feel like you're real zen you're real down to earth like I said there's like must like mystery to you but people would definitely like to take a walk with you and just like pick your brain like see what you feel see what you think because like I said people can't quite put their finger on it here and with meditate People could just feel like you are, like I said, one with yourself. You could med meditate or take it very, very seriously here. Like this is like, gives me real spiritual vibes, especially with the high priestess and meditate coming through. You could be psychic. And so people want to come and talk to you more about that. But you could even uh, be really private about like your craft or what you do, or maybe not a lot of people know about it. Or honestly, it could be that people are kind of like intimidated and scared to even come up and ask you about it because you have this like intimidating energy this poker face type of resting bitch face type of energy and it's not a negative thing it's just <laughs> i'm also even hearing that like it could even be like the energy of one of your like guides or your someone in your spiritual team um who just has like a really intimidating energy around you it's like you exude the energy of like dominance like you command respect just by walking in the room, like, geez. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and end your reading here, pile number two. Thank you so much for letting me read for you today. Beautiful energy here. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Hello to everyone who has chosen pile number three. This is gonna be your reading on how other people view you, whoever you are thinking about. You guys chose this stone. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that over here. And we'll get started on how people view those who chose my pile number three. All right, pile number three. You have maybe recently overcome some sort of obstacle here, maybe in the public eye, maybe a lot of people know about it here. Um, but people like you're like the underdog is what is really coming through. You could have, um, just been through something here, like a lot of emotional, like trauma, maybe some like depression and anxiety here, but you're really like creating a new beginning and a new start for yourself. You're really picking up those pieces and moving forward here in life. And it is very inspiring to some people. And you can just have a lot of people around you who are happy about this. I'm going to give you those who chose pile number three. How do people view those who chose pile number three? Yeah, I feel like you're leaving a lot of mental conflict behind. Y'all could be like in therapy or something or just like doing like a lot of self-care. Um, you could be getting a lot more confidence in yourself or just taking care of yourself. And I feel like it, the energy around you is different. Um, you could have had 
a lot of conflict and like I said, chaos in your life. Or like I said, maybe you guys have gone through something and um, you are just creating new opportunities and doors are opening for you, pal number three. You could have been blessed. You could have gotten something new here. Yeah, it's really all about um, the mind and a stable foundation. I feel like some of y'all could have been and take what resonates leave what doesn't some people in this pile could feel like they were like orphaned or you could have been an orphan or adopted or something like that or just feel like you were left out in the cold by somebody something or someone and so you've had to like pick up the pieces and create a stable foundation for yourself with really out the help of anyone else like y'all self-made as fuck here pile number three congratulations that's dope all right how do people feel about those who chose pile number three all right, we have Seven of Cups. Amazing. Yeah, you created all these options and new opportunities for yourself. So in points of your life where you feel like you have had no options or maybe your head was like in a like cloud or something, it's just like you just created all these new opportunities for yourself here, pile number three. Let's see, how do those, how do people feel about pile number three? And then look, we have the Fool. Look, and you're stepping out of your comfort zone. Do you see how this woman is walking out of the sea and her tail is turning into legs? You guys are off on some sort of new journey. It could be physical. It could be spiritual here, but it is noticeable to everyone around you, pal number three. Like you have, I'm just hearing like rise from the ashes like a phoenix. Okay, like, woo. All right, we got the Ace of Swords here. You cut out the bullshit. You got inner clarity. You see things for what they are here, pal number three. And you have some sort of new opportunity that you have created for yourself. And then bottom of the deck, we have Ace of Cups. We have two Aces. New beginnings, new beginnings for pile number three. And people are very, very proud of you here. You know, whoever you are asking about or other people who might, you know, view you or be in your circle. And you know what else I noticed about this Ace of Swords? Like usually on any Ace of Swords card, it is a hand coming out and, you know, there's a sword in it. You didn't wait for anybody to hand you this sword. Nobody did this for you. This sword is on the ground. So this lets me know that you went and you found this. This sword is in like a shipwreck at the bottom of the ocean. You went and found this inner clarity. You went and found this epiphany this revelation and this new beginning for yourself you went down here and you picked up this sword so when i say like self-made yo pile number three just got that energy all right kind of look split the deck victory door to spirit come on now y'all found y'all self all right how do others view pile number three how do other people view pile number three? All right, we have yin and yang here. So you have a very good balance of masculine and feminine energy here. And I feel like you guys have found balance and you know, whatever you have went through in your life, like I said, with this pile, it could have even just been like some mental health issues, financial issues It's gonna be different for all of you, but there is some sort of obstacle that you have overcome in your life that people around you are so, so proud of and so, so inspired by, like you really picked up the pieces. All right, and then we have a woman holding a coin. You could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it's just like, you created this stability for yourself, all right? And that's what I was saying earlier. You could have the bag now, pal, number three, or it's just like whatever you've tried to create, it's working out for you. And then we have a strategy at the bottom of the deck, right? With these seven of cups and strategy here, like I said, you created all of these new options, all of these new opportunities for yourself. You didn't sit and become a victim and cry about it. You got up and you did something. And that is just, woo, that's amazing. That's amazing. I could stand up and clap right now for pile number three. Y'all are dope. Let's see, we have passion. So y'all are following y'all dreams, y'all true north. You know, some of you could have left a job, quit a job, or just 
with something that didn't make you happy, pile number three. And then we have reconciliation and this is you coming home to yourself. Beautiful, bottom of the deck, we have protection here. So this protection card always reminds me of the Empress card for some reason, like she's holding like this belly, it kind of looks like she's pregnant and it reminds me of the Empress card. So I feel like, and look, we got truth right under that. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it's just like, you really stopped lying to yourself maybe, you know, in some of like the past situations that you have been in and you looked at things for what they were and you definitely elevated and moved forward in your life, pile number three. So people could even feel like you are protected here spiritually and physically like you're protecting your energy how do those people view my pile number three all right we have spend time with friends how do other people view my pile number three all right and then we have sync with the moon okay so I'm definitely looking at all these moon faces. So you could definitely be very spiritual if you chose this pal, which I'm sure everybody is who is watching these types of videos. <laughs> but with spend time with friends, people really do want to spend time with you and reach out to you. And you are just an amazing person to spend time with. I'm definitely just, I feel like you talk to people about spirituality or just like approach things on a more spiritual level now. So you could have been someone who may, maybe recently uh, went through a spiritual awakening. So maybe people around you could even, even felt like you've changed or something like that. But it's just like your whole perspective has shifted. I'm hearing rebirth. They're showing me the judgment card here. Um, so this is a whole new you, but this is who you were all along and you were able to really connect with your higher self, your inner self and your soul in order to come back home and find this peace and this stability here. We also have sync with the moon. So you are definitely in sync with yourself with the moon and you can even do rituals here, but it's just like, you see how she has her hand on her chest. This is like inner peace to me. All right, you could have been uh, fighting battles like within yourself, with your own mind, and you finally found some peace. All right, bottom of the deck, we have sweet treat. All right, some of you could literally cook or be good at cooking. People could like your food, but with sweet treat, I feel like when people get around you to maybe when they can finally spend time with you, it's always a sweet treat. You always have a message to deliver. You always have something to say that is going to be useful in other people's lives and they definitely really appreciate that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and end your reading here, pile number three. Thank you so much for letting me read for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Yeah.